So as the name suggests, this lesson series is about connecting your APIs into higher level platforms like Power BI. Um, as part of this, in lesson one, we're gonna be showing you how to create an Azure function and how to publish that Azure function to the, um, uh, to the Azure environment. Um, in the next lesson, we'll show you how to consume that using a Power Automate flow. And in the final lesson, we'll be showing you how to consume that using a, um, a Canvas app, a Canvas Power app. So it's gonna, it's, uh, we've got a lot to cover, uh, not much time to talk. Uh, let's get going. All right, step one of this is we're going to create an Azure function. Um, I'm going to just call it um, add... Uh, function or I'll call it the math function okay because it's gonna do fancy math okay and one thing to know is there is a distinction between um, the isolated mode and the mode that's hosted right now um, .NET 7 does not support the isolated mode I'm sorry, it does not support the hosted mode. So you only get the isolated mode. Um, it does change your APIs, the way your APIs uh, work um, and the libraries that you can use. So you lose all the okay object results. So if you're used to uh, those helpers that you get from MVC, stick to .NET 6. If you know your way around um, using uh, the uh, isolated mode, which is the, the version where it basically runs itself, then go right ahead. In this case, uh, because we're gonna be moving quickly, I'm going to use uh, the hosted mode, set it as anonymous, it's an HTTP trigger. Okay, so we've got our function created here. We're not gonna change much to it. We'll just call this the add, just give it a label. So this is the add function. Um, we don't need the get, it's all going to be post. Um, the route is just going to be the base route. Um, and then we're going to create a type um, that allows us to do this. Okay. And this is just going to take uh, two integers. So that's that AI we're talking about here, <laughs> right? And then we're going to get rid of all of this because we really don't need it. And we just pull the parameter back from the request. Uh, we're gonna change this to an HTTP request message. So we can do this. And of course, it's the add request that gets returned. And then for the response, it's gonna be JSON, so we don't care. And, uh, equals. And we're done. Okay, so using that same strategy, I've gone ahead and created the other uh, uh, versions, uh, the other operations that we're going to be using. So we've had the add that we uh, that we just created. There's also a subtract where we just subtract x from y, a multiply where we uh, multiply x and y, and a divide where we divide x by y. So the only thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and go up here and switch this over, remove add, uh, so that we have proper function name. And now at this point, when the function is called, it's going to be whatever the base URL is, um, AP, forward slash API, forward slash add for the add, forward slash subtract for subtract, forward slash multiply, and forward slash divide. So we can test it out by starting the 
function app. And as you can see, these individual um, uh, functions have been created. And here's the URI for each one of them. I can now open this in Postman. Um, and basically, I enter in the URI, as you can see there, that URI is showing up here. And then I'm using a version of the add request where it takes an X and a Y. And if I run this, I should get my answer. Here's the add. And then let's do subtract. And I'll use some simpler numbers. Simple 550, subtract. So your response is 450. And then we can do multiply. So it'll be 10 times 3. Actually, let's make it 25 times 4. Run that. And that returns 100. And then finally, for divide, we can divide 25 by 5. And there we have our answer. So now that we have our service up and running locally, our next step is to publish it to Azure so that we can start using it um, for the other parts of this lecture. Let's get going. So there are multiple ways uh, to publish into Azure to get your Azure function uh, into your Azure environment. The simplest way of doing that um, is actually built directly into Visual Studio. So we can just right click and select publish. And then we just go through and pick the publishing profile, um, follow the instructions. You basically have to pick um, which one of these you want to specify. For what we're doing, we're going to be using Azure Functions on Windows. You can also use it for Linux. You can put it in a container. There's all kinds of things you can do. Um, and we may talk about that in the future, but go look it up if you want to know more. And then basically, you go in and you pick your services um, and do the setup. So in my case, I basically chose to create a new Azure function. And as you can see here, when you click this create new button, it'll take you to the process of doing that. Uh, once you've created that, you do select it and then basically click finish. And then that will publish it. And once it's published uh, or saved as a file that can be published rather, uh, then you can actually publish it by clicking the publish button. Depending on the level um, of beefiness of your device, this may run quick or run fast, uh, uh, run quick or run slow. This took me a little while, but once you're done, you're ready to go, it's published, and you can see here is the actual URL of it. So when I click on that, it opens that URL here. Your function app is running and you're all set. As a final step, we can go back and actually take this URL and update our functions with it and ensure that they continue to work. So we're just switching it to the um, to the URL, the back end, everything else stays the same. So if I do divide, that works as it should. If I do multiply, that works as it should. If I do subtract, that works as it should. And if I do add, that works as it should. If you've been following along, you're all set. You publish an Azure function into Azure, and you're along the way to turning into an API developer within your enterprise, publishing all kinds of cool utilities that can be leveraged by various tools and services that sit above you in the stack. In this video, you learned how to uh, create an Azure function and how to publish it into Azure. 
Uh, tune in for the next video. We will now show you how to leverage that Azure function in some high level tools such as Power Automate and uh, Power Apps. As always, happy coding and have a blessed day.